emergency shrink coming on, Dr. Linda Papadopoulos. <laughs> Can't wait. Linda Papadopoulos wants to help heal the emotional trauma Aaron's experienced living with her condition. Today, Aaron will be having a photo shoot with a leading portrait photographer because I want her to challenge her perception that everyone is staring at her and judging her all of the time. I need to get you to engage with this part of your body that you've avoided and hated. And I can get you to have fun with it. And I can get you to look at it and not hate it. Today's the day when you say enough is enough, you know? Yeah. How do you feel? What's your first reaction? Nervous. Mm -hmm. Very nervous. We'll get you through it, okay? I think it was uh, Zuckerberg himself who came up and basically said, you know, privacy is outdated. So, you know, absolutely, I can see why people do it. You know, I'm not here saying there isn't a place for social networking. There is. But um, I think my anxiety is exactly what you're saying, Vicky. I think there's, there's levels of friendship, and I think different people mm -hmm. understand it in different ways. She'll be really confused. I mean, you know, she's, she's so young that conceivably her only memory of parents may be this, this couple that's, that's been taking care of her. So, you know, surely she'll be feeling scared. She'll be, you know, wondering what's happened, you know, and, and something bad happens to him. It's never about what's the person, and it's, it's about what have I done? Have I done something wrong? Why have I been taken away? The story here is basically saying that actually no matter what you know whether you lock your doors or your windows if they want to get in they'll get in the ones that tend to be at the top of the list whether it's claustrophobia or um, arachnophobia fear of heights come from an evolutionary point of view so there's a, there's a reason why some things are scarier than others and it is because they actually can do us harm and, My and point Eamon, exactly. You're, exactly there we go there you go case rests <laughs> that's it that's all we need to know joining us now are relationship experts linda papadopoulos and matt Tidy. I mean, why do we hold these men up to be moral beacons? He hits a ball with a club. I have a real issue with that. He's a sportsman. This is going to be a lot of guys going, ah, do you know what? This kind of cool. We all get him. And, it's going to be, you know, and that's the sad truth. If a woman did this, she'd lose a lot more sponsors. I'll tell you that. Very interesting. interesting. Very interesting. I don't interesting. agree with that, though. You, <laughs> you wouldn't. Linda wants a body image education program rolled out in schools across the country. What we're trying to do is to go into schools and, and adapt a part of the curriculum so that it addresses young people's self esteem. Um, I always found it interesting that we teach them sort of the names of obscure rivers here and there, but we don't teach them how to how to look at the issues that we deal with day to day about liking ourselves or not, about rejecting ourselves or accepting ourselves. It is a wide ranging thing. It you know Yes, part of it's last mags. Yes, part of it's airbrushing. But it's also about media literacy. It's also about the language we use when we speak about women, the way children are learning to self-regulate. Yes, so, but do politicians care? I, I sincerely hope so. I mean, you know, you've had Cameron speaking about it. He seems to care. I've, I've, I've spoken to the Tories. I'm speaking to Joe Swinson next week. She's doing a lot on airbrushing. You know, the Home Office commissioned this report. So they seem to care. But now it's time for them to put their money where their mouth is. Everything needs to be predicated on respect and trust in a relationship. Um, and I think you need to be clear that your issues are, are either yours or that they're being motivated by something that happened you know so many times we become anxious we become suspicious not because there's something to be suspicious about mm. but because of our own insecurities that's opinion here are the facts during a recession there's an increase in domestic violence there's an increase in suicidal ideation there's an increase in depression there's an increase in, in disorders including OCD and anxiety disorders those are the facts and the fact of the matter is that unlike you who had two perhaps supportive parents there's a lot of people out there that don't have the social support our psychologist comes from the London Metropolitan University and she is also the author of the book mirror mirror the body image revolution say hello to dr. Linda Papadopoulos Hi everybody. Food is not just nutrition. It's the number one thing we use to comfort ourselves. Erin has come so far today. She went from feeling so frightened that she felt sick to actually being able to laugh at the end and, and feeling a sense of pride that, you know what, I faced this fear, I've looked it in the eye and I've confronted it. It's my resident psychologist, the lovely Dr. Linda Papadopoulos. Air high five. Boom. Boom.